Hey, what's up, guys? It's David, your Android junkie, over to AndroidSpin.com. Focus, camera, focus. Um, bringing you finally another segment of HTC One S ness. Yes, I started doing um, a little segment by my beloved phone that I love very much. Yes, we're destined to be together for at least another year. Um, but yeah, I started doing it and then I stopped and then I also been promising you guys to show you how to, a tutorial on how to root this phone, which I haven't got to yet. It's on my list of videos, which there are over like a hundred thousand. So I'll get to it one of these days. Um, so anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys a quick review of this uh, ROM I found called Jelly Bam. Some of you are probably familiar with it. It basically takes CM10, AOKP, and Paranoid and puts them all into one big orgy of fun. There's also other ones out there like Pac-Man ROM. I was actually um, rocking for a while and uh, I, you know, flashed the kernel from the same developer and it was rogue and messed up everything up. So I, you know, drove me into the arms of another ROM and now I couldn't be more happier more happier that didn't have bad grammar right there couldn't be more happy so let's fire this bad boy up come on htc quietly brilliant yeah i know stupid i'm just trying to make a dramatic effect of course the normal htc uh but look at this look at this boot animation this is so pretty this is absolutely pretty very detailed 3d just beautiful you got andy in his little rocket ship suit thing going on flying away awesome i mean this is probably the prettiest boot animation i've ever seen that i've ever had really on a rom and uh congrats to the jelly bam guys for doing that um as you can see i got my batman wallpaper as my lock screen wallpaper which is um that's an aokp feature right there where you can change the wallpaper uh what i'm going to show you guys first is it comes with TouchWiz Home already built in and not gonna lie to you, not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Um, you know, obviously TouchWiz, you hear TouchWiz and you just wanna whiz over it and it's not that great, but you know what? Smooth, very smooth. I've got a couple screens, I'm not gonna show you my Twitter feed, but um, yeah, not too bad at all. You got the the widget that is made famous by the Galaxy S3, which of course, you know me, you know me and widgets. I'm a widget head. Really love it. Um, just overall very smooth. I love the, the morphing effect of the app drawer. It's just really nice and fluid. And of course, a little animation for... The folder is open. <laughs> yeah. Didn't realize it had that until I was playing with it again. But yeah. The folder you, is closed. You can have the Google Now chick tell you. The folder is open. You know, the door is ajar, the door is ajar kind of thing. Closed. It's kind of kind of interesting. And if you notice too, um, this this build actually comes um, with some apps that are darkened, the inverted apps. Like we got f Facebook iced, which is pretty, and of course uh, inverted Instagram. So it comes equipped with that the as well <laughs> as well as uh, other apps like you get Awesome Beats. So, you know, if you want to make, you want to adjust your audio levels to make it sound better with the Beats Audio um, speaker on the back, it'll sound very nice. Um, let's take a look at the camera. Camera is very nice because it does. Oops. Oh, see how I fail at this? I'm trying to hold a microphone. Sorry if I'm breathing into it and looking through the viewfinder at the same time. But uh, if you see your settings here, you can have burst shot which I already have set. There you go. No problems. Anytime I've used it, I haven't had any force closes or nothing. The camera works fantastic and all the, you know, pretty pictures and everything like that. But you know, you know, always a uh, camera is always a, um, you know, it always goes rogue with these ROMs. But uh, one thing that's weird about the TouchWiz launcher is it doesn't keep everything really in alphabetical order. As you download stuff, it just kind of puts them run one after the other so it gets kind of hard to to um find an app that you want but yeah i mean it's not too bad i actually don't mind it at all i was rocking it all yesterday but you know i can't get rid of um i just can't get rid of stock of course so of course naturally i downloaded uh nova so let's look at the pretty nova there you go and it works fine 
nothing wrong with that it's loading up so a little bit of a lag there um, let's go ahead and dive into the settings here I'll show you of course I got the hybrid you know feature on for paranoid so you could set if you go into your paranoid settings you can actually go into apps and you could set some of them to uh, run at a, a higher pixel uh, ratio so everything's smaller a little more crisp a little more and then of course you get the the dual panel screen like tablet kind of mode which I really like so you can go into here like say if you wanted like say our site you can actually adjust the number the size or you can go right here which there's not much to select but sometimes you can get up to 720 which is really nice and you could set everything to just to look crisp um, if you look at your interface I have it on phablet Ooh. I didn't mean to hit that. I have it on phablet for workspace, so then my if you notice my notification bar, yeah. Let's move that from Stormy. He's complaining about something. Um as you can see I set it where it's small and it doesn't go all the way down, which I like. I really like that. You can set it right there. The status bar set it smaller. Um, you got AOKP settings right here, so everything that AOKP has you can have on this ROM, which I won't go over because a lot of you probably already know. Um, so you got cyanogen so you get to pick your poison really like you know the toggles up here those are AOKP toggles but you can have cyanogen mod ones too if you decided not too bad not too bad at all and then you got some jelly bam wallpapers that comes equipped which there's quite a few and of course some 4.2 I guess there is some 4.2 uh, features in this ROM not sure exactly which ones but apparently that's what it said it had a little bit of uh, 4.2 in it of course themes you know, normal CM10 stuff. Um, performance, which you can adjust. This is way better than set CPU, that's for sure. So you can see what, what your CPU has been running on. It's got a nice little graph there. It's pretty cool. Let's look at about phone. So it shows all the versions of like, you know, the AOKP version, the CyanogenMod version, build date, all that. As you can see, it's generally 4.1.2. And of course you got the about jelly bean bam i always say bean obviously it's just natural you can go to their website facebook github yeah you could stare at this cute chick right here with this goofy looking guy which you know i can't make fun of him i'm a goofy looking guy too and uh he's way smarter than me because i can't make a rom you kidding me anyways that's pretty much it you know there, i have no complaints about this uh some occasional force closes with like my messaging app um the market comes inverted um what else comes inverted? U2 comes inverted, I believe. I did flash some just Justine, whatever the heck, uh, the inverted app. So I don't really know exactly which ones are inverted, but I know some of them are. But I cannot complain about this ROM. It's a really good ROM. So if uh, you have an HTC One S and you want some little bit of everything, which is nice, uh, download Jelly Bam. Really good stuff. Um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I will be sure to try to get that tutorial on how to root this damn phone to you soon. Hopefully sooner than later, but uh, I know I've been promising that for like the last 10 years, but I haven't done it yet because I suck. Anyways, guys, I am David, your Android junkie, over to AndroidSpin.com, and this has been HTC1S NIS. Thank you for watching.